How y'all doing today? We're gonna have us a crawfish boil down here in Long Beach, Mississippi. I'm gonna show y'all a little thing about how we uh, boil crawfish down here. And this is our way of doing it. First off, we got us a 36 pound sack of live crawfish here. Got to be a big old cooler. And we're going to purge them. And that's the most important first step to boiling a crawfish. You want to purge your buzz. It's going to clean all that dirt, and debris, and mud out of them. So go ahead and you put them in the cooler and you get your water turned on here. And what you want to do, you're going to let them purge out. They're going to get all that dirt and everything out of them. A lot of people, they put salt in here. You really don't need that. Because crawfish are fresh water. If you put salt in there, all you'll do is kill them. And our water from the hose here already has some chlorine in it. And what I've got, I've got the, um, the plug on the cooler open. And if you look down there, you see how dirty that water is coming out? That's all that dirt and everything coming off these crawfish. So I'm going to leave this hose running here in this cooler. And I'm going to let that water just cover the crawfish. And we're going to let this go for about 30 minutes until we come out here and we see that water running clean. Then we'll have nice purged crawfish. That's our... All right. Fried. Here we are prepping the vege vegetation. These ladies are doing such a good job. Uh oh. We are supervising. Man, man, man. The garlic's hard to cut. Okay, the garlic's the hard to cut. Okay, the lemon's ready. Chef. All right, now yeah. we're about to go on out there. Uh oh, oh, this yeah. ain't happening. Oh, watch out now. You'll cut your hand open. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and season the water while we get the crawfish boiling. We're going to put this uh, crawfish seasoning in there. Most of it anyway. Put that whole bag in there. Put that whole bag in there. bag. bag. A little bit of this liquid stuff. This is uh, concentrated crab oil. Just to pour that. There we go. We're going to put our lemons and our potatoes in. Of course, we'll let all this come to a boil. Once it starts boiling, we're going to go ahead and put the crawfish in. Alright, that's it. You never can put too much season in there, that's what for sure. You're going to throw an extra little squirt in there? Actually, yeah, kick it up a notch. Oh, oh we got, forgot the kicker. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh -oh. kicker. Look at that, man. Good stuff. Good dog, Red. Good stuff, alright. Where'd you get this stuff? Well, so I bought this out of some Cajun in the parking lot. He was selling this at his homemade. He calls it the kicker. So I don't know. He said it's a seasoning blend he makes himself. It smells hot. So we'll put some of this kicker in there. He said put about half of it in each batch. So we'll put about half of this back. All right, we'll let it boil. All right. Did you buy those trays? Also, while we wait for this to come boil, we'll put some garlic. Cut some garlic up and close the garlic in there and some onions. Put a bunch of money in there. Ooh, you can smell that spice. So go ahead and put all that in. Wait for it to come to boil. Alright. Alright, we came out here now to check these crawfish. And you see how that water is clearing up? Look down there, see how it's getting a lot more clear. That, that Persian, they're getting all that dirt out of them. We'll check for escapees down here. I don't huh. see any. You never know. Look, look. Here's one trying to escape me on the, on the hose. So let these keep going until that water comes to a boil. We're going to load that basket up and we're going to get ready to cook them. Mm -hmm. Now we come to rolling bowl. So we're about to load the crawfish up in the basket. We're going to take the basket out and get ready to put them in. Now we're going to go ahead and put the crawfish in. Some of our crawfish. We've got some mushrooms mixed in there too. We'll put a few mushrooms on the top. We'll carry this and put it back in the water. Put more crawfish in there. Joe. Let's put more crawfish in there. Okay. Alright, set these down. We'll let this ball be in a rolling ball for three and a half minutes. And then we'll cut the fire off and put some ice in there. Alright, now we're back to the ball. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the top and let it go for three and a half minutes. Alright, we're gonna go for three and a half minutes now. Go ahead and shut the Shut the gas off there, and then we're gonna, we got our corn, and we got our ice, and pour that in there. And close that top, and we'll let it soak for 25 minutes off, just like that. There we go. All right, All right they've been cooking for 25 minutes. We've been cooking, sitting, soaking. We'll bring them out here and pour them out. I smell good. Man, they smell good. Watch out, Susie. Good. Come in, Sadie. 
All right. All these hungry mouths. Hey, here we go. See what they look like. Dump them, is that, not, is that not a uh, pretty good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that potato, Daddy? Oh. There you go. There you have it. Light her up. Light her up. Alright, so how are they? What's the verdict? Good. There we go. Good hot spicy crawfish. Alright, here we are in here um, after the post bowl. Joe, you want to take this? bowl turned out really well. We had all the neighbors over. They all brought friends and uh, we ate the crawfish up. And we're going to do it again here soon. So. Here's to you. Cheers. And y'all try right. to ball some yourselves. Yeah, try it out.